Hello, I'm Quentin, and I've recently got one of these Amazon Echo devices. They've only just come out in the UK literally a couple of days ago, so I've only had 24 hours to play with it. But it's great fun, and I've connected it up to the usual things around the house. Alexa, turn the dining room on. Okay. But what I really want to do is to connect it up to some of my other gadgets, and um, my favourite gadget at the moment is my electric car, my BMW i3. And it turns out it's actually not that difficult to do if you've got some system you can access through the web. They've created nice frameworks to allow you to tie the Alexa system. Um, that didn't wake it up. Uh, the system uh, that this uses uh, into your own bits of software. So um, I've created a simple demo of this. Alexa, launch i3. Welcome to your i3. You can ask me about the state of charge, the range extender, or about security. What's the state of charge? The state of charge is 54%, and the electric range is approximately 34 miles. The car is not currently charging. I clearly need to go and plug it in. Um, those mileages are not typical. Uh, they, I would normally get rather more than that from, from that state of charge, but it's based on my fairly atypical recent driving. Alexa, ask i3 about the range extender. The petrol tank is 34% full, and the petrol range is approximately 22 miles. I need to go and top that up as well. The other thing I put in here was, Alexa, ask i3 about security. The car is secure. And it would have told me if I'd left any of the windows open or the sunroof open or the doors unlocked. So it's quite nice, and I don't have to be sitting right next to it here. I can do this from the doorway, uh, uh, the front door in the hall. I can just call in and say and, and ask it these questions. Um, but it's clear that I've been spending too much time programming this thing. I really need to go and spend some more time charging and then driving my rather fun car.